guys, just want to let you know what this this update's all about. We actually go to uh, to ground zero of where the flare-up started. It's pretty incredible over there at, at Snow Valley Ski Resort. All the people, all the logistics, everything involved. We make some stops along the Little Arctic Circle to get different views, different perspectives of this fire. I also give you some really good updated information from the fire authorities out there. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. This was my my favorite one to make, even though I don't like making these fire videos. I'd rather make my snow videos. But anyway, enjoy, and we will see you soon. Okay, here comes the chopper. I hope he goes right over us. He should. Or maybe not, he's disappearing. Where'd you go, buddy? Oh, there he is. They are gonna come right over us. Maybe we can feel some of the water come down on us here. That was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. Alright, let's go to Snow Valley. See ya. Hey, what's up everybody? Line fire update, September 28th, 2024. And since things are looking a little bit better, um, I wanted to do a shout out to a good friend and fan on the channel, Janice, to your grandkids, Autumn and Brielle. Autumn and Brielle, hi, how are you? <clears throat> Thanks for watching the channel. Hope you do enjoy it a lot, and I hope you watch it all the time with your most awesome grandma. Um, so yeah, just wanted to say hi to Autumn and Brielle. All right, so let's get back to this. So the current situation is the line fire burned actively in the Bear Creek drainage and produced a lot of smoke over the day. The containment line on the ridge was strengthened with multiple aircraft dropping retardant and water. Several VLATs and at least 10 helicopters were working in the area. Since the flight path crossed Highway 18 to the east of Snow Valley, the highway was temporarily, cl temporarily closed for the aircraft to work on the fire for about an hour. There is more fuel in the Bear Creek drainage that will burn creating smoky conditions in the Big Bear Valley over the next few days. Temperatures are expected to be in the highs ranging from the mid 70s to upper 80s in the higher elevations and warmer mid 80s to low 90s in the lower elevations relative humidity will vary from 12 to 50 percent across the fire with winds gusting around 15 miles per hour in the afternoon highway 330 is closed over four miles of guardrails were damaged in addition to structural damage to the to the roadbed caltrans is focused on repairing this damage but yeah guys it seems like things are improving seems like things are getting better so we're actually going to drive all the way to Snow Valley. And again, I don't want to be in anyone's way over there. So we're not going to get in the way. We're just going to find a place to park and see what the heck's going on. Over there is where the fire is still burning. I don't know if you can, can see. When we come back from Snow Valley, we'll, we'll take a look at the view that we've been looking at for the past few days. We'll hop back out here and check out the smoke from this angle. But for right now, we're going to drive on what's called the Little Arctic Circle. It's about a 10 mile stretch. That's going to take us to the other side where the ski resort is. All right, guys. I'll turn on the camera in just a moment. I don't think you want to be bored riding on the Little Arctic Circle. Thought we'd stop along the route here. And by the way, we need to give thanks to Gabriel Magana. Magana, he's the one who, who sent me the line sheet, the fact sheet for the line fire. So thank you, Gabriel, very much. But that is where we are headed. And there is a, a chopper about to drop. I mean, it goes all the way down in, into that canyon, but it looks like it's much more controlled than it has been. So that's fantastic. All right, let's get over to Snow Valley. Just hopped out of the car. Look at the size of that pine cone. I mean, look at that thing. Jeez Louise, that thing's a monster. But yeah, this is a much better view. So you can see where we're headed is right up there, where that smoke is right there. 
But look, there's a bunch, a bunch of fire burning way down in there too. Oh man, I, I just feel so bad for these firefighters. They're working so hard. But those are the type of people who can sleep at night. Just another little little clip along this beautiful route. As you can see, it's a beautiful place. We are so lucky to live here. Alright, well, let me run back across here. Into the Outback Touring XT. Wow, look at that. Yeah, it's going off down there. And by the way, where I just parked, you guys, not a bright idea to park right along this hillside because there are so many falling rocks. So we got lucky. Snow Valley unless there's some other amazing views before that. Yeah, I just can't stop finding little shots to take here. We're almost to our destination. Okay, we're about to pull up here to Snow Valley. Incident base. Slow. Okay, so we're gonna park here to the left. We are at the resort. I'm no media person. So if they want me to leave, I will bounce but I don't feel like I'm blocking anybody being parked in this big open area. Look at this, everything you see here is for the uh, fires. But yeah, it's, it's really burning right there on the side of the ski resort. That's crazy. And I think there's a chairlift or two over there as well. It stinks. I don't know. They probably won't let me in, but that's okay. And look at this truck full of generators. Oh, it's laundry. No way. That's awesome. That is so cool. Look at all the washers and dryers. I've never seen a mobile laundromat. That's pretty freaking awesome. As I said, we're not going to get in their way, you guys. But we're just going to get some decent looks at. Look at all those tents right there. All the firefighters are sleeping in tents. Look at that. I'm telling you guys, these firefighters are just unbelievably awesome. Those must be the boss's tents, the mansions right there. Right, let's walk, up, walk, walk over here a little bit. Yeah, as I said, everything you see here is for this, this flare up that we have or are still having.
what an operation. This is quite the operation. I'm just, I'm just still really blown away. U.S. Mobile Kitchens. Can you imagine the logistical issues to put all this together, or you would think, and they just, they knock it out. Obviously, I don't know the ins and outs. If you're watching Bob, Chief Bob, thank you for all your information, my friend. I pinned Bob's comment in a couple videos ago, explaining the containment. I mean, look at this, this whole area, everything is all for this fire. All these people. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna go any further. Hey, when you want to park somewhere and you see a no parking sign, this is what you do, okay? Just knock the damn thing over. <laughs> oh, here, here comes a water drop. We're gonna try and zoom in on that guy. I can't see it too well. Where is he? Those trees are going to block it, but you get the point. So does anybody know how long a state of emergency lasts? Because I never thought I would say this, but uh, thank you, Gavin Newsom, for doing that for us. But he's going to find other ways to tax us and take more of our money because of this, because it cut into uh, to what he likes to do. Hey, bro, thank you guys for all your hard work, man. Seriously, man. You guys are on top of it, bro. Thank you again. How's it going? Well, there was a photographer who was on the property, so I don't see why I can't go up here. I just wanted to thank a couple more, more folks.
Okay, so I didn't want to embarrass them, but I, I, I went up and, and thanked this whole crew over here. I didn't want to put the camera in their face. All I, all I basically said was thank you guys for everything you do because you're allowing us to do our own easy, simple jobs that really don't have that much of an impact compared to what you guys do. And uh, you guys are sleeping out here in tents and all the logistical issues that comes with something like this is just not, not easy. So thank you guys. And they seem super stoked. So that's awesome. Oh, and there's some some mobile sleepers. I didn't even recognize those. Those are beds inside of those. Yeah, guys. On our way back, I'm gonna stop in and at a little area in the Little Arctic Circle to show you guys Big Bear Lake all the way across the Little Arctic Circle. It looks like a little puddle. That's how far away it is. But anyway, one more little stroll back to the car, get a nice look at all the effort being put into this whole situation. That's the laundromat again. That's so cool. <laughs> Thank you guys again. I thanked all the people up front right there, man. You guys are absolutely amazing. I live in Big Bear. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, still though, still. Thank you, bro. You guys rock, man. <laughs> He's like, ah, oh, they pants. Yes, they do, but you guys should get paid like quintuple overtime. All right, as I said, we're done here, but if you guys want to get a couple nice, nice little views of everything on the way back, stay tuned. Otherwise, thank you guys for everything. Um, since things seem like they're getting better, I don't feel too bad asking to like and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. I work hard at this. Those of you who are new to the channel, if you like snowfall and seeing a bunch of snow in Southern California, stay tuned to this channel because uh, the main part of what I do is coming soon. Peace out, guys. See you in just a minute. Look at that. We're not gonna be able to see him drop it, but that was a pretty horrible view of that, you guys. I'm sorry. He just popped out of nowhere. Well, we're almost to that little area. Well, there's Snow Valley right there as we're climbing the mountain here. Oh man, that is so cool. Does anybody know how much water those huge buckets hold? I know like the uh, Chinooks like suck up water into a tank inside of the chopper, but how much water do those big red buckets hold? They look like big, big red balls. have an answer someone leave in the comments please i'd appreciate it i'll say like what a thousand gallons i don't know i have i have no idea it's just a dumb guess okay so we're entering the little arctic circle now elevation 7112 and this is lakeview point so this is literally the very start of the little arctic circle and we're going to pull up to a spot where we can take a look at the little lake. I mean, it looks so tiny from here, you guys. All right, let's let's get out. Okay, so this is that massive canyon here. Straight ahead, I'm going to zoom in. Can you guys even see it? It's just, it looks like a puddle straight ahead in the center of the camera. That's Big Bear Lake, you guys. Tiny it looks like from here.
we're gonna make a couple more stops along the little Arctic Circle to take another view of the fire going on and then we will be done see you guys shortly all right you guys so we've made a stop here look at how steep this is imagine trying to fight fires right here I mean seriously that's how it is over there that's what they're doing over there it's almost straight down this is just unreal but so unbelievably beautiful my gosh so straight ahead you can see where there's a lot of fire right there and as we move to the left you can see it to the left there can't see any flames you can see a whole lot of smoke and then if we go back here to the right this is where we just came from basically ground zero for where the flare-up really started getting crazy yeah, that might be a oh there's a chopper wow get in the chopper wow wow <laughs> he's getting in the chopper drop in the water drop the water now drop it now <laughs> sorry guys i'm a little happy because it seems like things are getting taken care of even though you see smoke all along there what on earth is that all right so we're gonna hop back in the ride and cruise down here a little bit more and maybe take a couple more views and that's it all right you guys here's a better view we're gonna kind of climb this little area here you can see a lot of the darker thicker smoke coming up right there so I don't know for sure but I think that that burned that direction because the major flare-up started right over there where that chopper is about to drop the wata. I don't know if you guys can see him. Again, I just can't stress how beautiful of a place we live in. Especially when it's covered in snow, this whole area is just unbelievable. Alright, maybe one more little update on the way back and uh, oh there's a chopper way down low. Look at that, way down low. I don't know if, if, if you can see, he's dropping right down in there, wow. Again, that's where we just were over there. Ground zero, basically, just on the left side there. For the flare up, obviously not the line fire, but the flare up. Okay, again, we're coming to the very edge of this super steep slope right here. I don't wanna go any further. I gotta pay attention though, because I will go down. Jeez Louise. I mean, just look over there, you can tell how incredibly steep it is. You can see the road that we've been driving on middle of the screen there and again that's the ski resort over there that they have been protecting incredibly let's move on all right we're back here basically at the big bear dam at this area we're not going to go back out onto the rocks like we've been the past few days because i think this is going to be a better view right here of where everything's at so where you're seeing all that smoke and the area right above it that doesn't have any trees on it or well some some lines that don't have trees that is where we just were at snow valley ski resort all the way across this beautiful valley Yeah, good on you all, you firefighters and everyone involved. Thank you again for everything. I think I'll wait to get one good chopper view. And then that'll be the last of the video, guys. Again, thank you guys for everything. Thank you for allowing me to, to try to be the source to give you some information about this thing. I know I don't do the best, but I do the best that I can.
So thank you guys very much. And uh, yeah, until next time. Peace out. Like and subscribe. Thanks.